爱他个辣椒。Why are you sweet, 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 sweet as Princess Silk? Über mega cool, Princess Princess Sukita, and I am crazy. Oh yes, <laughs> sonderbar, sunshine, cielo, crazy, sweet. Oh cool, I don't have to continue with the introduction. Not really for the. Okay, I feel like. I feel like there is an impact of the inside. I am on a complete and total open mic. I was Gina's friend, despite that I th thought she was a little bit, she was a mean bitch. And I was delighted with Federico. Let's say not delighted, but yes, despite he was a sissy. Can you believe it? Those were the famous people in Mexico, or the powerful, on the power people, so to speak. Che? Oh, because Veronica, Veronica Castro. I don't. I think she was even a more sissy. I saw her once in in life. You don't need to know who that is. Very famous, known for her particular makeup. Is that Veronica Castro? I think that's what it was. No, I've seen her on TV. Very small, very skinny, and she was like some obedient little bitch sitting in a restaurant, kind of on the next table with a few dudes. Oh, that was the famous restaurant in Acapulco, where everyone goes. The the one and only famous fish restaurant. You have to go there when you're in Acapulco. So I went just over the years a few times. I'm not sure with whom I went this time. I did not comment it either. Could be that I had been there with the leak, but was there with the leak ever? Oh yeah, Acapulco. Hmm, could be. No, I saw her sitting there. You can clearly see submissive. Why is she submissive? She is the star, like a little sissy bitch. So famous. No, I think they were the same, Gina and and her. It takes a lot of sliming to get there, and what does it take to actually maintain your position up there in the fame ranks of I don't know TV moderators? I don't want to know. But when my daughter said I want to be on TV, I said fuck that shit. I said no way. Absolutely no. The horror is sinfine. It's limitless. See, in a way, in that system, all of it, right? Capitalist, paternalistic, caste, whatever you call that, people are slaves, no matter in which rank they are, because no one is the pope. Get it? <laughs> no matter where you are at, you're just not good enough. How mean! I got a little bit of humanity out of Federico. Yes. But I did had I was clueless and planless. I just am me. I always felt this way, ever since I was a child. I felt I'd like to, you know, help humanity to get back to the core. But there is love. I was very small. Maybe I was four. I always felt this way. But I did not really like had strategy. I was just living my little life. In hardship and pain. I did not wish Gina is a friend. It was she pursuing me. I wish someone who actually thinks. 
and who is nice. Oh, she was nice to me, but I mean really nice, like from... What? <laughs> At the same time, see, I was pursuing someone else as a friend, as a real friend, not just like... Well, I always felt like Gina didn't wish to be alone. She didn't have anybody else. And eventually I figured, well, she's also happy and cool that she's got the overhand here. With the money, of course. That's all. <laughs> That's all. Okay, she, she was saying, she was inviting, she proposed. She never stepped foot in my house again after that first time. By the way, she didn't even notice. I did went out with her in Pavarotti because she had proposed again something and this this time it was about getting, you know, getting the partner with. Well, that was a little bit einfädel. She weaved that into her strategic plan to have him coming, I guess, because she wanted to connect with the family, maybe. That's the issue. Nothing is natural in those people. I can talk to you about it. Okay. She wanted to make a spa, which has a tip, is, uh, is like some tipi, some Indian thing, she said. Well, I knew about it because remember when I got you know formalized with Pavarotti, there was one in that very fancy hotel. I couldn't go because, but um, she wanted to make one in her rancho, so she had contacted some hippie who actually did those things. The original version of a spa. So we went to see him to the area of Tepoztlan and Pavarotti was with and she was saying that she was searching for um, journalism stories too. She was searching for stories to, you know, because she was now retired to, for her journalism. Also, she also told me that she would never really had written it, that she never wrote a story. But whatever she said on TV was given to her. Okay. So that was the guy. And then we had a an evening or a night using one of those specific spas in some, I don't know where it was though. I think that was back in Kronobaka. She proposed to. So Pavarotti went with me. I don't know who else was there, but definitely not Federico. Do you think she's going to invite him and me in bikini? <laughs> yeah, because of the man, we did not have to get naked. Of course now, we'd be, you know, bathing suit, decent and towel and so. It doesn't matter. You basically you lay flat in the heat. That's what we did there. And this little young hippie, he he brought us, you know, he brought us there and, and showed us. I think she built one of those in her rancho, because she was bored and she had money. I never knew so. Maybe I, I don't remember if I actually saw something of the construction. No, that I think about it, it's a super cool project. She could have made some retreat. She could have invited gringos via me in that rancho, built a few rooms. It was so vast and she had so much terrain there. Right in the middle between one cool city and the other one. I, have, I would have given her a lot of ideas, but she was not, she were, was, what? She wasn't susceptible for ideas and I wasn't really feeling inspired to give her anything. Other than my company, because there was, remember, food and what? <laughs> What does it make me? What? What does it make me? Gotta eat. I did not like the rancho. What are you talking about? It's just an old little house. I did not like any of her projects. Do I have to? I did not like the painting either in her closet in Acapulco. But I was surprised that out of nothing, that arose, <laughs> and it was kind of decorative. I did not like her style. I didn't say I did. I did not like Valtra's style either. But it was better than the old fart style. I wasn't allowed to develop any. I had no money, remember? I just had to settle with that damn furniture which was in that place. 
I did not like the boyfriend she got. What's his name again? The painter? Who got us? Who's to see if he's really a painter? I have no clue. It's what he said. I did not like him at all. Yikes. Some sissy and a tall body, too, man. Sorry. I did not like. That was the. <laughs> okay, so Uli. Uli Zöllner, the other German woman. That was years before. When she left to Germany, her boyfriend called me. A very tall. He looked like a zombie. He, no, he looked like uh, Frankenstein, right? Or the Frankenstein. <laughs> anyway, he called me in for some recording of the Beatles. I think that was the illusion of the real this morning. Like, oh, that wasn't a real, it was a video. Like Elvis Presley. What the heck? He was lonely, I figured. I did not like him either. Are you joking? I have just look at the poverty around me. With whom is she engaging? But she was. I did not like her either. No, I'm respectful. I don't have to like people to be respectful. I am always respectful. No, I'm listening. I'm looking. I'm, I'm scrolling. I'm listening. I'm zooming in. Okay, so that video, right? I had a few thoughts, but I hadn't really figured more. Because I was standing in the cold, uncomfortable. Uploading what the first video of my Atakalacho today or the second. Alright, I I have to I have to actually go there in my mind. What was it again? See it takes attention and concentration to go there. Alright, let's not do it right now. Did I finish watching it? Okay. Well, I can talk about it, I can develop it. I think it was an analogy, but I hadn't time enough to actually check in with my emotion if it's really true or not. That's much more interesting, all the reels I respond this morning. Yeah, try to get her, man. I understand. Try to catch her, try to uh, go at level with her. See what you... <laughs> no one can do that, only mine. It seems so natural. It is so strikingly jumping into my face, all these little insights. On the other hand, I'm very delighted that I'm being, you know, herausgefordert. Again, it's not really challenged, but that I'm being given the opportunity to respond. I'm delighted because it makes my brain sparkle. Oh, see, you don't need to be like I am. You can't. I'm not, under, I'm not getting to that anybody else has to get all that. Yeah, enjoy, <laughs> as you see it. See, that's, see, I'm not expecting marbles from you. I am Zondervai, I'm not expecting you to be this way. Anybody. I expect you to be nice. And kind. To yourself and other people. That's all you have to do. Oh, in order to be happy with me, you need to make my brain sparkle. Oh, you need to be highly intellectual. And lots of other things. So what was the analogy about? It's so, it's so warm, I have to take on my sweater. It was about classical music, right? So it was about classical music. And why do we still listen to classical music? And it is never about who plays it, but um, that is classical music. The same pieces. The analogy was Elvis Presley. That we always have to listen to Elvis Presley and that is boring. I haven't finished looking into the field yet, by the way. As an analogy for Mozart, because Mozart is awesome and Elvis Presley, I think, too. I mean, I don't like him, but it was mattering at the time. I don't think you miss anything if you don't know Elvis Presley music, only a little bit of history. But every single song you hear is based not on Elvis Presley, but happens before. Oh, wait, he happened before the Beatles. I think you should definitely know about the Beatles. Because all the young generations, I mean the, the recent the recent old generations which are like born recently, they think they have it all figured out by listening to that, but for half a century had been repeated. And they think as they're special. <laughs> it's just a copy paste from a lot of little things. Just to put the ego down, man. S T F U. Alright. Shoot vocal. Well, in classical music, it is about who plays it. It has to be good interpretation. 
see, I'm telling you, I haven't really finished looking into it. How do I know? Because it doesn't feel conclusive at all. Hit it. 